So this is how the uh, shorted beef started. When Deep Star first tweeted, for dear, dear FBI, one of the people inside the Capitol yesterday was is Baked Alaska. He's a banned YouTuber, st YouTube streamer who starts fights on streets as as soon as a streamer punches about to are about to be thrown. He maces people and runs away like a cat, which also, which is also uh, called a pussy. And by the way, he, you need to work on your uh, sentences because you're not matching what you're saying. Then comes a tweet from Nick Nicholas J. Fuentes, who says, You're a scum, dude. I can't wait till they ban your YouTube channel and destroy your platform. You fucking slave. Enjoy your 30 pieces of silver. And then King Star begins to tweet at Nick Nicholas Quintus saying, "I'm a FAO. I'm gonna enjoy freedom when you, when your bitch ass friend that maces innocent people in the streets gets locked up. I'm a laugh at your ass. You should probably take this anger to a speech therapy class because I seen a speech of yours." Where you were stirring nonstop. And yeah, I think I. He implied that he de deleted a tweet because Nick claims he was never in the cap building, and my tweet suggested that he was based on other reports I saw. I don't know if he was or wasn't, but I know Baked Alaska was, and he is fucked. And basically, he did a last tweet about Nick J. Fuentes, uh, saying, Damn, Nick J. Fuentes, that's a big L for you. And then, I think this is my, this might be the last tweet of Nick J. Fuentes, so, uh, yeah, let's give that a good watch. Just so we're on the same page, earlier today, the FBI says that they are looking for the identity of the people that stormed the Capitol building yesterday. So I remembered, I saw Baked Alaska, an in real life YouTube streamer, he's banned now, but basically, this in real life streamer would start fights with innocent people on the street, and as soon as they want to defend themselves and fight back, Baked Alaska would mace them and run away like a bitch, so I don't like Baked Alaska. Alaska have no respect for him and he was one of the people that stormed the capitol building yesterday and he live streamed the whole thing on d live him going into the capitol building and him in pelosi's office on her telephone saying that he was calling trump so when i saw this tweet from the fbi i responded by saying baked alaska was one of the people in the capitol building and that's when baked alaska's good friend and nick flutie or whatever the fuck his name is responds back to me that you know i, I can't remember exactly what he said but he basically said that i was like a slave to youtube i was a slave to susan wujiki uh that i didn't have balls like leafy to get myself banned talking all this types of fucking nonsense and if you go to the guy's fucking page he's literally supporting forming the capital 
all right? He thinks, you know, the government's being overthrown by, thrown by the Democrats, and he doesn't respect the courts or nothing. He thinks Donald Trump won the election. He's an extremist, an extremist person. But now we have Trump. We have Trump coming out and saying, that the people that stormed the Capitol building yesterday are fucking criminals that need to be brought to justice. We got Trump himself saying that the people that stormed the Capitol building aren't American, very anti-American. That's not what we stand for. Oh my God. Look at you out there fighting a fucking war. Your buddies are storming the Capitol. You're talking all this shit on Twitter. When Trump himself, your fucking leader, it doesn't agree with you. It's fucking hilarious. Big fucking L on your head. This is the problem with extremists. You do extreme shit and you fuck up, dummy. I agree with the team start for a guy who's who su- apparently supports America first. Sure, don't look like America first. <clears throat> if it was America first, you wouldn't be supporting of Trump. Even if you confirmed a tweet saying that you are outside the Capitol building, That doesn't mean that you're still in the right to be there and be part of a crew that stormed in. People were willing to die for this man and he just threw them all under the bus. That's the only thing that's shameful about the events of the past 36 hours. I'm sure the usual suspects suggested that this was a good idea. I hope Trump reverses course. For our sake. Yeah, he will never. Just a new slash for you, Nick Quentis. And this is the last tweet from Nick Quentis. You don't have freedom. You're a bad boy. Slight like assistant with your key. You're far more courageous friends like Big Feet and others get banned while you must intently straddle that line like a good little dog making meaningless drama content. Here's a drama alert. You're a fucking loser. Uh, huh. He has how many? 2.8 million. And you have how many? Yeah. Actually, Team Star's not the loser. While he may say some stupid shit, which he can still do, Nick... You're the one who's a fucking loser. Because you support a president who is incapable of running for office. And the fact that you have lost this battle means that you need to take a rain check and stay away from America for a while. Take a vacation. Think about what you're what you have done the past four years and why it doesn't help you now. Think about it. Because clearly you want to to support somebody who is incapable of running our country right now. And this is one of the examples. It's time for you to give up right now and stop supporting President Trump. He is a criminal president and he will remain that way for a very, very, very long time. You lost the battle to Keemstar. Time for you to throw the towel and retire. <laughs>